Good afternoon, everyone. I can see your comments about your math exam today. All right, I see that most persons had challenges. I'm hoping that your geography exam tomorrow will be a whole lot better, right? Let me know if you think it will be a whole lot better. All right, to be looking at hazards and disasters. Um, according to the release of topics, we would have seen where CSEC has listed that they are going to be using natural disasters as one of the topics that they're going to be placing in, I think it was section D. Section D, yes. That's very good. I'm seeing some of the comments that you are very pumped for geography tomorrow. So that's good. That is very, very good. That's the spirit that I want you to go into the exam with. All right. So while I go through, if you have any questions, you can just ask so that I can respond to them while we go through um, hazards and disasters. In this specific live, I'm going to tell you the objectives that we're going to cover as well. So we are going to define natural hazards and natural disasters. We're going to differentiate between the two of them. We are going to identify the disasters that we have had in the Caribbean or hazards that we are aware of in the Caribbean. Then we're going to look at the effects of these hazards and disasters. And then we're going to look at the So this should cover, should, it should cover what is expected in section D. Um, it doesn't have to cover all of it because we don't know exactly what is coming. So you still have to do some reading, check out the other videos that were already made, check out the crash courses that were already done to ensure that you have every single base covered. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so as well. Then you um, look at the playlist for map skills. I saw that earlier someone said that they have, the only part that they think they may have a challenge with is the map reading section. So there's an entire playlist on map reading. There is even a crash course that was done on map reading. So you can look at that as well to ensure that, you know, you have every single thing covered. So before you go to bed, you should be just reviewing, 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 get all your stuff together, get your ID, get your timetables, get everything that you're going to need for your exam. Don't forget the protractors that you will need for map reading. Take your ruler as well that you will need so that you can 
ensure that you are fully prepared for the exam. So we are going to begin. Um, while I go through the first two sections, which won't be long, I am asking that we do type in the chat section the hazards that you have in your own Caribbean country. So type the name of your Caribbean country and type the hazard that you have in the Caribbean country that you are in. Also, after I differentiate between hazards and disasters, I want you to also type the hazard, the disaster as well that you have had in your particular country. So you are going to do that so you can assist everyone. Um, if you have to carry your own string, no, they usually, usually, they usually have string at the exam or they may offer you strips of paper to use instead of the string. Maybe they have both. So you can still bring your own to ensure that you are prepared just in case. Remember, we're dealing with different countries here, so we don't know if in some country they offer it or not. But try to bring a string for yourself if it is string that you use or you can use the strip of paper. So those provided in your exam. All right, begin. I'm seeing that some persons have already started typing. Remember that when you are commenting on the hazard or the disaster, you need to tell the particular country that we're talking about. So the other persons who are on the live will be able to familiarize themselves with what is happening in the other countries. All right. So Basic terms that you need to know, usually for the paper two exams, they may have to define something. So some of the terms that you need to know the meanings for, here they are, hazard, disasters, risk, elements at risk, vulnerability, capacity, response, relief, rehabilitation, reconstruction, development, mitigation, preparedness, prevention, disaster risk management, disaster management, recovery, and emergencies. So throughout the live, you will get the meanings for these. Remember to also consult your textbooks that would already have these information handy for you. Okay? So natural hazard. If something is hazardous, think about from primary school or whichever other school where you're thinking of something that is a hazard, it means that it really has the potential to cause damage. It doesn't mean that the damage is done, but it means that it has the potential to actually cause damage. So I'm seeing some persons that said it was sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat that just in case. So you can let me know if you're hearing me clearly now. Um, so hazard, when something is hazardous, it means that it has the potential to cause harm. Potential, meaning it don't happen yet, but it can possibly create some amount of damage. So that is where the hazard section would come in. So hazard is the risk associated with the lithosphere, biosphere, or the atmosphere. So any one of these spheres can have an, a disaster that is associated with it or a hazard that is associated with it. Um, yes, you can go ahead and screenshot. I am going to save the live so it will be on the stream after it will be on the channel after but you can still go ahead and screenshot that is fine all right so hazard potential meaning it don't happen yet but it can happen so for example if you're living on the bank of a gully it means that it is a
Are you hearing me better? Are you hearing me better now? All right, I'm seeing some yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to make this into a video and then I will just upload it. Okay, how is that? I know some of you wanted to be on the live stream so you can just go ahead and ask your questions and I respond to them at the same time. But I will go ahead and make this into a video, then I will upload so that you can actually watch. And you can type your comments, type your questions below, and I will respond to them, even if they're very, very lengthy. All right? So turn your post notifications on. Subscribe and turn the post notifications on so that once it is uploaded, you will be able to access it. Okay, um, the soil one, I'm going to upload that too. Yes, I know it didn't happen yesterday, but I'm going to upload that one as well so that you are able to watch it. I know your exam is tomorrow. So far, every single thing that you do need is already on the channel. Everything that you need is on the channel. You just need to look in the playlist. So if you don't know where to find it, just send me a message and I will find it and send the link to you. All right. So just comment on the something and I will see it. Um, if you're looking for something specific that you can't find, let me know so that I can find that video for you and then I will reply and send it to you. Okay, guys. You are welcome. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do it right now so that I can upload it maybe in another um maybe by five o'clock because this would have taken us um maybe about thirty minutes. Yes, you can send me um yes, you can send me the Instagram messages. I will respond to those as well. You can comment under anything, any one of the videos, and I will find the link and send it. So anything at all that you can't find, it is there. Industries is there. It is under the human systems crash course. Um Dashell. Yes, Industries is there. So somebody just um, send a comment or something so I can reply to it to show you where the Industries is. Just look in the playlist. It is under the Human Systems Crash Course. And if you're watching it and you have a question, then you can just ask the question. I'll respond to you as well. Because I figure you guys will be up tonight looking over last minute. So I will be available. 
you can just send me a question and I will um, respond.